At this point, we have learned how to do questions involving different operations with fractions. But sometimes problems also involve mixed numbers. Let's have a look at an example of how these are handled. The question here is 2 and 2 ninths plus 4 and 1 third in brackets times 2 thirds divided by 1 and 1 third. Because we have mixed numbers in this question, it's best to convert them all to improper fractions before we start. We'll start with 2 and 2 ninths. It is equal to 20 over 9. Next, we'll convert 4 and 1 third to an improper fraction. It's equal to 13 over 3. Lastly, we'll convert 1 and 1 third to an improper fraction. It's equal to 4 thirds. So now we have this expression to solve here. Using bad maths, we'll start with b for brackets. Within the brackets, we have 20 over 9 plus 13 over 3. In order to add fractions, they must have a common denominator. We'll convert 13 over 3 to 39 over 9. So within the bracket, we have 20 over 9 plus 39 over 9, which add up to give 59 over 9. We've now finished with the operations inside the brackets, so we can move down to exponents. There are no exponents in this problem, so we can move down to multiplication and division. Our question starts with a multiplication 59 over 9 times 2 thirds. 59 times 2 is 118, and 9 times 3 is 27. So the product is 118 over 27. So the question now becomes 118 over 27 divided by 4 thirds. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So it's the same as 118 over 27 times 3 over 4. The diagonals 118 and 4 can both be divided by 2 to give us 59 and 2. Now we have 59 over 27 times 3 over 2. The other diagonals 3 and 27 can both be divided by 3 to give us 1 and 9. So the question now is 59 over 9 times 1 half. We just multiply these two fractions. 59 times 1 is 59, and 9 times 2 is 18. So the product is 59 over 18. 59 over 18 is an improper fraction. So we can make it into a mixed number. 18 goes into 59 three times. 18 times 3 is equal to 54. So the remainder is 59 minus 54, which is 5 eighteenths. And the final answer to our question is 3 and 5 eighteenths. Here is the complete solution to this problem. You may want to pause the video and review it step by step to make sure you understand it completely. Bedmass is a great tool for helping solve questions involving various operations with fractions. These type of problems usually involve quite a few steps, so it's good to get a lot of practice doing them.